God, my fucking dog. What's up, OGs of YouTube? It's your boy, the content thug. Here to run the block on the ops of YouTube, all right? I'm gonna be able to run rampant throughout the streets because the uh, content cop is dead. All right, yeah. Fucking dog. I'm Michael Vickin. Who is today's subject, huh? Who is today's, today's victim? He's big, he's bad. He's boogie 2988, you fucker. I'm so loud, you wanna say something? Get your ass over here. Say something. August 12, 2036. Eat death of a unit. Bro, you don't have anything of importance to say. Because you can't even talk. You're just a stupid. One for me and one for the hooker. One for me and one for the hooker. Welcome one to the sub club. <laughs> Boogie2988 is kind of a f Not in the sense of a gay person that I'm using a hateful slur towards. More in the sense where I'm using the slur as a, um, you're a r kind of slur. I, I know I'm double layering the slurs there, but I feel like the word is just strong enough for me to use. Christ and Almighty. Boogie is probably the most frustrating locale I've ever seen in my life. And if you don't know what a locale is, uh, put it up on the screen. He is a person that will refuse to get better by any means because honestly i don't think he wants to i'm a walking embarrassment dude we do look at me i'm fucking disgusting better i'm a piece of shit i will never function the way you function <sighs> <sighs> He's a covert narcissist, which is someone who wants you to feel sympathy for them to make them feel better. And a covert narcissist is one of like the most annoying traits of a person you'll ever see because they don't want to get better. They don't want to fix their life. They just want to fucking milk the sympathy out of any person. And that's exactly what Boogie is, except he's fat. It just frustrates me beyond all belief because Boogie could easily fix his life. He could, he could post more. He could post better content. I'm an addict that will do anything to get his drug of choice, which is food. And it doesn't matter whether it was uh, 30 years of therapy or fitness influencers volunteering to help me or a gastric bypass surgery, the best that medicine had to offer, I kept eating. 10 days ago, I started this medication called Zepbound, and I genuinely cannot believe the results. I don't think you'll believe them either when I tell you. It's a miracle. This is a miracle drug. Uh That's the thing about these types of drugs. They're not silver bullets. They're not the only thing you need to do. As you can see, Boogie's content is all based around him, which would be fine if he wasn't a fucking horrible person. And he goes on in this video to talk about how this drug has made him lose weight and it's like the cure. It's just delusion, dude. The only reason you haven't lost weight is because you haven't put in the work to lose weight. I know I don't know this guy, obviously, and I'm kind of flaming him for like out of nowhere, but I've been watching him for so long and it just, it just pisses me off to see someone like this. But like I said before, he doesn't want to help himself. He wants other people to feel bad for him. Now, I, I get he grew up in a, rough household but so did a lot of people and a lot of successful people that doesn't give them the permission to scam people on crypto boogie 2988 as of recently when i'm recording this did a pump and dump scheme with crypto allegedly don't sue me please he did a pump and dump scheme which if you don't know what that is according to investor.gov in a pump and dump scheme fraudsters typically spread false or misleading information to create a buying frenzy create a buying frenzy that will pump up the price of a stock and then dump the shares of a stock by selling their own shares at an inflated price. I'm gonna give you a hip and cool skit right here to show you an example. Yo, what's up guys? It's Kanye West here. Here to promote my new coin. My new coin, uh, uh, anti-Semitic meme coin. My new anti-Semitic meme coin, all right? Make sure you hit that shit. I already got three bands in there, three. That's more than two. Now that you've seen my epic relatable skit, let me get on with the next problem with Boogie. When you're not performing your edging, do they make you goon? Edge. Edge. Boogie is a horrible person. What really pisses me off about the fact that he's a horrible person is that he will admit that he's a horrible person and then continue to be a horrible person. Oh, since my credibility shot anyway, I'm gonna fucking launch NFTs next. You wanna fucking... I don't give a fuck. Okay, all right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. And, uh, yep, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. Hey, that's kind of funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. Okay, that one was, uh, 
a little far. What the fuck? When he admits it, he acts like it made what he did better, which it does not. Let me list a couple examples for you for what he has, um, the atrocities he's committed against society. He scammed people on crypto. He besmidgeth the name of his own police department. He got fake swatted, which, by the way, actual people die from getting swatted. And he just did it for sympathy. Covert narcissism. There you go. It all fucking makes a big old gay circle. Would a gay circle be a square? But being square is normal. So does that mean being gay is normal and me sucking dick isn't odd? Baby, I'm Boogie is also very adamant against people who hate teenagers and are against grooming. If you pull up a couple clips. The public thing I had to say about it was if this person knew this uh, earlier, like if people at Twitch knew mm. and you all didn't say. Hmm, preying on literal teens, huh? I wonder how old his uh, girlfriend was when she, when he met her. Hmm, seems like you're toting the line here, Boogalicious. He He'll adamantly bitch out people that are like, I don't know, like Dr. Disrespect, which by the way, he deserves it. He's um, allegedly a pedo, but he's absolutely going in on him. Like, if you date a teenager, you're you're a horrible person. He also is dating a 21 year old right now who he's been dating for 10 months. Let's do the math here, kiddos. That means he met Desi, his girlfriend, when she was 19. Do you wanna know how old Boogie is? He is 50. Boogie is at least, he's like 50 something. Put it up on the screen, what? I probably fucked it up. Now, if you want me to be 100% and honest, I really don't care if he's dating a fucking 19 year old or whatever. As long as it's consensual, it shouldn't really matter, I guess, but it's just still kind of weird. Absolutely no way I'm regularly working out. There's no way you're gonna get me to actually work out today. Actually, we'll see. There's one way you could get me to work out. Yeah? Is that, wait, 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 is that besides the other thing? Yeah, well, we can do okay. both. But we can do both. All right, yeah, all right. If you yeah. want me to really work out, actually I work do. out. I do, I really do. And go put on your bikini. This is a fucking porno intro. He says the weirdest shit when it comes to his girlfriend. I know it's usually for shock value and views because he can't pull views anymore, and that's coming from me. Boogie will be like, he'll make these fucking weird comments where he's like, yeah, she dresses in sexy stuff. We have sex all the time. She loves it. She's not against her will. She loves it. She loves it, guys. Which, um, why do you have to say that? Uh, I'm assuming that you're in a consensual relationship. You don't need to reaffirm me, Boogie. The cartel's coming. Which brings me to my next point. Are you poor, Boogie? Are you really poor? Because you've been saying you're gonna lose your house for at least fucking, I don't know, like three years. You've been saying you're gonna lose your house. Oh, I'm gonna lose my house next month. I probably won't even be able to make a rent this month. Okay, um, first off, it's been three years. That's more than one month. And second off, you claim that you're making like around $6,000 a month. That's not a cheap, that's not chunk change, buddy. That's a decent living. You can live off of that. And I know you go like, oh, my medical bills, my fucking, my dick hurt, Cox got cancer. I don't know, you say that shit. But if that's really the case, then sell your house, which is probably worth a fucking fortune in today's fucking, in today's economy. And you can spend all your money on medical bills and live in a smaller house or a fucking Airbnb until you can figure out your housing situation. How about you sell all of your collectibles? I know you've been saying I'm gonna sell all my collectibles. I've been trying to sell all my collectibles. Nobody will buy them. That's a bunch of horseshit. You're telling me they're completely worthless. Nobody uh, in the internet space where you get 20,000 views out of 20,000 people, not one person is going to be interested in your fucking collectibles. Also, sell your magic cards, boogie. I get you're like, oh, magic a gathering. It's, it's a garage. It's my escape. Well, you're going to fucking die. You're going to leave your girlfriend with all your medical debt. You're going to leave her with, with pretty much nothing. And you're just, you just seem to be completely fine with it, which is the one of the most selfish things I've ever seen in my life, I, which makes me question if you even actually do like Desi or if you're just with her for that sweet 20 year old puss. And I know I've been harsh, Boogie, which you probably will never see this video, but it's completely warranted, one. Two, you need it. You need someone to be a dick to you, as the beloved Keem star says. Oh, I hurt. I can stand a flawed person. One thing I cannot tolerate is a hypocrite. Boogie, you're kind of a hypocrite, so please change it, all right? Just change it for everyone's fucking sake. You're probably not gonna change yourself even after this video that you're not gonna see. Just think about it for your own morals, your own mental mental health, and um, your own well-being, and for the well-being of your girlfriend who you supposedly love but are willing to leave with thousands of dollars of debt. There's a fucking bug on my face! So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, uh, please kiss me, I don't know, but go to the Discord, join the Discord. I haven't, I don't think I've ever actually advertised 
advertise that. And there's like, only my friends are there. So if you want to come see some premium cheese pizza, um, that is a joke. Don't, don't, that's a joke. There's no ch I can't even say that on YouTube. There's no You know what I said though. There's no on my Discord, I promise. I haven't checked it in a while. There's probably not, probably a, a decent chance. If you post I will be very upset with you. Okay, now fuck off. Fucker.